God, what a weird game. It, it looks so simple, right? Like, oh, there's bubbles and colors and bust a move. And like, you know right away that you're gonna have to match them and clear them. And you think that's gonna be the thrust of the game, but oh no! That's only one of the gears around which Spin Jam spins. So Spin Jam was released back in the year 2000. Grab the flashlight, cue the Conan reference. There's actually a little phrase on the box art. It said, puzzled, you will be. And I thought, get out of here, puzzled. It's match three with bubbles. Wait, the matches explode? Oh, and the, and the force from said explosion causes bubbles directly on the opposite side to eject outward. Wait, and I have to aim them too? Yeah, the box should also say, yeah, that's right, dickhead. So, uh, this is one of those times when yeah, I'm, I'm glad these are videos, because Spin Jam is kind of hard to explain without footage. So, uh, the, the levels are actually flowers, alright? And you shoot these bubbles onto the center of the flower, match the colors, and those bubbles burst. And that sends any bubbles on the opposite side flying. And this is where things get complicated. See, you're, you're shooting balls at the center, but there are also petals at the edges. The basic idea is get the bubbles on the opposite side of your matches to go flying into the petals of the same color. So it's like match, turn, aim, match again. Get puzzled. Box art doesn't lie. So how do you lose? Well, the, the, aside from getting a headache and discovering that you're out of Advil, there are too many bubbles building up, they start to turn gray. And if that color spreads to the center, it's game over. And that means you have to work fast. Given how much is involved here, working fast is really tricky. Look, Spin Jam's fun, there's no question about it, but it is a bit complicated. And I always find with puzzlers that the simpler the design, the better the game. You can build really complex puzzles from a simple gameplay idea. The gameplay idea doesn't need to be complex too. Again, that's not to say this is a bad puzzler, but it's definitely not for everyone. And it's not as addictive as some of the genre's heavyweights. gives you lots of ways to play, which is nice. There's a story mode, which gives you several computer-controlled characters to play against. There's an arcade mode, too, and multiplayer, which can get pretty hectic. I mean, it's definitely a sweet little puzzler, it's just... God, what a weird game! Thanks to Justin from Maryland for sending it in. Confusing me. 